If you make lures or are thinking about making lures, you've probably also thought about airbrushes. The standard airbrush is a fantastic tool, but a couple of problems with it. Every single time I change colors, even if one little squirt, I have to completely wash out this little cup and completely wash out the entire system. The other problem with this is that unless I use super, super crazy, highly volatile paints, I don't even dare open this in the house. I can use this on soft plastic, but it's really, really dangerous inside. Plus, you still have the cleaning problem. This time you use solvent instead of water, so it's even a bigger problem. Here's a cool little airbrush system I just recently discovered. It works great on soft plastics, and it works great on hair, too. For example, here's a foam head, hair body. Let's say uh, I want to have a little bit of red in the back. Now instead of having to mix paint, I just slide this cool little marker in here and I can spray this. Look at that. I've got some little red highlights. Now by the same token, I've got a soft plastic minnow body that I just recently poured. And soft plastics are becoming a bigger and bigger part of everybody's arsenal. And the issue is always ways to color them. Now we use dust sometimes, but in addition to the dust, this has got like pearl dust in it, it isn't really clear. I can just take this, this little uh, soft plastic dealie, put a bit of a screen over it, and you can get different size of screen or mesh. I think I'll do a little yellow-green combo. Now this thing comes, I can get a little air can so it works independently. I've got it hooked up to my compressor. A little bit of yellow here on the belly. Use some graduated colors going light, light to dark. I'm not going to get much of a scale pattern because I don't have my scale thing on real tight. But you will get the idea. And notice, I didn't have to clean anything. Now here's another one. I dusted the belly with a little pearl and there's a little reddish pearl. And, all I'm, and it's already got scales uh, molded into it, so I'm just going to have a do a quick hit with this and make it try to look like a skipjack. Now the regular side looks pretty skippy to me. Uh, I think what I want is just a little blue, just a little bit of blue in the in the back, and a little bit of a uh, darker blue. I just love not having to clean it between every time. Now you just let that dry for just a few minutes and it would, uh, you could fish it just like this. I'll peel this, this off too. Oh yeah, look at, see, we got, we got some little scale type imprints. And rather than do both sides, you get the picture. I've been heating up some clear uh, in here and all I'm going to do is just dip this into the clear. And what I would do is just let this hang or I could drop it in cold water. I'm using a type of plastisol. It's any. This will work on any plastisol. The stuff I'm using happens to be non-phthalate, so it's a little bit safer for you. And I'll just put a couple of eyes on them. Uh, the clear coat that I've dipped them in is about 25% uh, softener, so it's just a nice thin coat. So there you go. You spray your soft plastic minnow or whatever with a Copic ink, alcohol-based ink, and you could come out with some really good looking soft plastic.